Manufacturing Overview The Acumatica Manufacturing Suite, developed by JAS Systems, provides a complete manufacturing automation solution, integrating your shop floor with sales, accounting, purchasing, and inventory. It integrates with all Acumatica suites to deliver a powerful and complete solution for most common manufacturing scenarios. In this video, I will demonstrate the make-to-order manufacturing process. First, I create a sales order for two items. Since I do not have enough in stock, I create a production order directly from the sales order. I can create multiple production orders from a single sales order. My production order is based on the bill of materials that is linked to my stock item. It contains all the specifications and instructions for creating my item. The production order is a copy of the bill of materials, so I can make changes to the production order without impacting the blueprint for future items. The BOM contains operations, labor estimates, work centers, tools, and overheads used during my production steps. Each of these items is tailored to your working environment using simple configuration screens. Work centers include labor and machines. Labor is organized by shifts and work calendars to assist with costing, scheduling, and planning. To simplify processing, I can backflush materials and labor. Backflushed items are automatically tallied according to standard costs, saving me the effort of issuing materials or recording labor. I can denote outside processing for external operations. For each work operation on the bomb, I can add materials, shop floor instructions, tools, and overhead charges. In this bill of material, I have sub-assemblies with their own bombs. The bill of material supports regular and phantom materials. Phantoms indicate whether the item's components, and optionally the routing, will be included in the production order. Phantom materials do not appear on the production order. Instead, they're replaced by the components that are used to build the item. Phantoms allow me to reduce the number of production orders I need to issue when sub-assemblies are involved. Production steps provide detailed work instructions that describe the specific work that needs to be performed at each operation. In this tab, I specify any tools that are required. Tools allow you to track costs of items that wear out after a specified number of uses. Overhead costs include shared expenses like administrative costs and shop floor space. The overhead costs associated with a work center are automatically added and can be overridden. Now let's return to the production order and build something. The first step is to release the production order to the shop floor so I can begin issuing materials. The material wizard simplifies the process. Integration with the inventory management module allows me to take items out of stock and issue the items and their associated costs to the production floor. The critical material report allows me to verify that I have all materials that are needed for my production run. If items are missing, I can create a purchase order or manufacturing production order directly from the critical materials screen. After materials have been issued, I can return to my production order and see that my material costs reflect the inventory that's been issued. Next, I start production by entering labor and indicating the number of items that have been produced. When all items are produced, the operation is complete and I can begin entering labor for my next operation. During this process, I can skip steps where labor is backflushed. After releasing my last operation, the production order is completed. I can review the history of transactions and verify the total cost against expected production costs. Most importantly, my finished item has already been added to inventory. The inventory receipt shows that the item was received from a production transaction and the cost reflects the exact production costs. In this case, a serial number was automatically assigned based on the default set in the inventory module. There's a full traceability for component parts, including a history of all numbers associated with our specific end unit. The last step is to return the sales order and complete the process of shipping and invoicing my newly produced item. The References tab in my production order provides a link back to the sales order to facilitate this process. In this example, I created a production order from a sales order, but I can easily create a new order manually if I want to create items for my inventory. For advanced scheduling, I can use the Material Requirements Planning module to create production schedules. In this overview video, we covered several features of the Acumatica Manufacturing Suite. Stay tuned as we create more videos covering additional features and topics.